does a big, shiny metal trailer impact your life every day? You're about to find out. Welcome to the Built to Last video series. Today we traveled to Alliance, Ohio to visit a manufacturer whose name you've probably seen on the road. Mack Trailer. Mack Trailer spans across the country with 12 locations and is the nation's leader in custom aluminum and steel manufactured trailers. They had a common problem that required an innovative solution. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm well, you, thank you. You ready to be on camera today? Yes. <laughs> so who is your prime customer? Who is wanting a custom trailer built? Um, we have a lot of fleets and a lot of end users. Uh, I don't know the percentage, but we do offer a vast variety of trailers. So we can build approximately eight a day here, depending on our schedule um, and what we are required by our customers. Okay, well, I am excited to see what you guys do. And so you're gonna be our tour guide today, Brian. Yes. So let's go check it out. Come on. Help us understand all of the components in a trailer. And I know that there are many, so maybe you could just kind of break it down into one example. Sure, so every component of these trailers is individually drawn. So all these components and drawings that we have are in our toy box. And once we get a, a spec from our customer, we put those toys together, those models, those extrusions together to build these beautiful trailers. Okay, and so how were engineers finding those, those components previously? So a lot of what we do is off a of reference. So say, uh, Joe got a trailer a couple years ago. We'll pull that trailer in. Of course, there was updates, just like any uh, product in the industry, there's updates. So we have to go and find those components, dig them up, and get them updated. So sometimes it's very tiresome to find those components and search uh, How long for what we need. What does that take, that, that process? Um, it could take anywhere from seconds to minutes to an hour, just depending on what that customer needs. So were you looking for a way to streamline that process? Absolutely. And how did the team center help do that? Sure, so the biggest hurdle we have is getting the prints from our, our computer out to the shop. So any way we can streamline that gets the shop their prints quicker. Um, so as we search through components and find things, Team Center has given us that ability to streamline that and get that quicker in our models, get the product out to the, or the drawings out to the shop um, and get these guys building trailers. This is like the Mac Trailer Bible. We're gonna show you what's inside. This is important. You yes, can't lose very this. important. Every trailer has one. I feel I feel like I'm very powerful to be <laughs> holding this. I'm gonna let you start okay. you flip through it and tell me what this is for. So every trailer at Mac, um, especially this facility, comes in a folder like this. And there's an overview of our trailer. So every print in here has a BOM. That BOM then correlates to the parts needed to build that trailer. So this is what the um, the people in here working are working off of each day. Yep. Okay. All right, so the shape of these trailers is pretty unique. Yes, it is. Um, so tell me what people might see these trailers doing on the road and what they're typically carrying. Um, anything agricultural will be hauled in here. Gravel, um, we have some customers hauling slug. So is this one of your more frequently purchased products? Yes, so this trailer right here, we are scheduled out through 2023. We are into 24 right now, so very hot product for us. So they're going fast, folks. You have until 20, you have to wait till 2024 if you haven't yes. put your order in yet. Sorry. What is happening here? This is one of our- The floor is moving, yes. Brian. So this is a, a walking floor trailer. Okay. Um, Keith Manufacturing supplies us with the floor, the extrusions, and the drive unit. Okay. Um, and what you're seeing here is this is how the load will discharge. Right now, it's in the opposite position. It's actually loading. Yep. But as you see, each individual slat moves in sections of three. Can I touch yep. this? Yeah, you're fine. Nothing's gonna happen. <laughs> no. I'm not gonna lose my hand. No. All right, so the material that would go into this trailer is something everybody has, and it is... Trash. It's our trash. It's a trashy trailer. Yes. Okay, yes. so talk to me about how much trash this trailer can hold and how it might be used. The trash trucks that go around and you see on a daily basis, they'll go to a transfer station. That trash will then be offloaded and a dozer or an excavator or a skid steer will load this trailer up. So it's, uh, it's important for all of us Absolutely. because, I mean, whether we are Mack Trailer customers, we are getting the benefit of the Mack Trailer product because it's hauling away our trash. Yes. Okay, very cool. That's how the operations are run day to day across the Mack Trailer locations. Next, we sat down with some individuals responsible for streamlining this process. I integrate stuff between engineering and IT. Okay, and so in doing that, 
What were some of the challenges that you were finding with working with engineers and trying to integrate with IT? What was your biggest challenge? So basically we knew we had a problem with how many parts we had, overusing parts, um, opening new facilities and copying what we had to the new facility, then creating new over there. Um, we knew we were building this beast, this monster, this issue. It became the point where engineers literally told me it is faster for them to draw the part again than it is to go searching for it. it Cadenas gave us the tool to find the problems, where, where the issues lie, what we were duplicating, what was obsolete. Is this a unique problem to Mac Trailer? I would say this is a problem that any manufacturing company in particular is probably going to encounter if they're trying to move from uh, a file system or a, maybe an older PDM system into something newer. We went from 1.3 million to 300,000 parts, which is a huge uh, difference in data. Uh, I would add that it's been great working with Cadenas and Siemens. Uh, they've given us tools that have allowed us to create efficiencies and standards across our business that we wouldn't have otherwise. Uh, and they, they've allowed us to continue to be one of the top manufacturers in, in our industry. Before wrapping up the day at the Mac Trailer headquarters, Brian gave us an eye-opening look at the difference Team Center has made for their company. So if you were wanting to make a custom trailer previously, you're you're scrolling through all of this. This is this is a mess. It is a mess. It's a little overwhelming. Yes. And engineers were searching through it, what we see here is, you know, 100 or so files, but there there were millions of folders yes. and files. Yes. So just each like one of these folders has additional folders in it, and it just continues to build and build and build. And as new parts were made, they were at just adding to that. That is correct. Okay. So now um, you'll have a much more streamlined, simplified yes. process. Yes. So, so a team center here it allows us to find that part quicker. Um, so we can grab a part from Team Center and bring it in and it's quick. Um, it gets our product out to the shop and then get uh, building on that trailer very quickly. And not only does it let you search for parts faster, but the parts are, there are less now. They've been consolidated. Correct. Okay, that makes everybody's job easier. It sure does. After today, you may look at the Mac Trailer logo differently when you see it on the road. This is a company that's truly investing in its employees while improving the lives of its customers. Thanks for watching this episode of the Built to Last video series. See you next time.